Hey everybody, today we're talking about surviving the holidays with an eating disorder. <gasps> They're here. Have you heard the Christmas music? Because I have. So stay tuned. Like I said, we're gonna talk about surviving the holidays. If you have an eating disorder, if you're in any stage of recovery from your eating disorder, today's video will be very helpful for you. And don't forget to stay tuned till the very end to find out who our Kenyan Artist of the Week is. Have you sent me something at some point that you created? It could be you, so stay tuned for that. But let's just jump right into it. The first thing I wanna talk about is planning ahead. I know that the holidays can be extremely overwhelming and almost every event revolves around food, so we know that. So let's figure out what our specific triggers are. Is it a person? Is it a type of food? Is it something like that? Are there things that we can control? Are there things we can tell people ahead of time to help accommodate us while we work on our recovery? There are a lot of things that we can do to prepare ahead. We can even bring it up in therapy, start processing through it now, so in the moment it doesn't seem overwhelming. I would encourage you to start thinking about it right now because that will set you up for success as we go through the holidays. The second thing I wanna talk about is fighting those ruminating thoughts. I know a lot of you told me that you're just worrying about the holidays even before they get here and we can't stop that negativity and what are we gonna say to people how do I deal with this what do I do I'm so lazy this is terrible we need to stop those and I encourage each of you today right now pause this video go get a piece of paper and write down three positive affirmations even if you have to Google them and copy them from Google I don't care and then I want you to repeat those to yourself every time those thoughts come up And if you want more about thought stopping I'll put a link in the description to that video as well some examples of positive affirmations could be anything as simple as you've got this or life has my back or anything longer where you're like, I've gotten through these things before and I'll get through them now. Whatever works for you, whatever motivates you in the moment, anything like that can be a positive affirmation. The third thing I wanna talk about is to stay present and engage. I know a lot of my clients with eating disorders will tell me after the holidays or after an event that they were really excited about that they don't remember anything because it was so overwhelming. They couldn't even hold conversations and they just really hated it. And so I encourage you to stay present. Use your five senses. Some of that preparing ahead will help us better stay engaged. And the holidays are a great time to catch up with those people, connect with them. And if you're looking forward to that, let's make sure that we prepare ahead so that you're able to stay present in the moment. The fourth thing I wanna talk about is spending time with those that you love and who support you. I know that oftentimes we feel pressure to go see family, spend time with family, but a lot of people call friends the chosen family. And if your family is actually not healthy for you, you know it's gonna be extremely triggering and actually detrimental to your recovery. Maybe this is the year that you take a stand. Instead, you spend Christmas or whatever holiday you celebrate with your friends instead of your family. Maybe you limit the amount of time you spend with your family and instead focus on those who love and support you in the way that you need right now. There's nothing wrong with that and it's perfectly okay for you to put yourself first. And the fifth and final thing I wanna talk about is take breaks as needed. Don't overbook yourself. The holidays are busy and stressful enough. Make sure that you actually schedule in time for self-care and things that you can do that you enjoy and spending time with people that you enjoy and who uplift you and support you. Make sure you get time for that. That way we have energy to go into those difficult situations and come out unscathed. I hope you found this helpful. I hope this makes your holidays more enjoyable and I'm wishing each and every one of you a happy and healthy holiday season. I know that this time of year can be difficult for many of us and if you're wondering if I have a video about something that you're concerned about, chances are I do. I have over 750 videos, so hop over to YouTube's homepage, type in Katie Morton and then throw in some keywords. Like if you're wanting some more help for the holidays, type in Katie Morton holiday and all my holiday videos will come up. I hope that that's helpful and I will see you next time. Bye. The third thing, blah, 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 thing is like third thing, thing, things.